All right, hey everyone, WonderBots here, and welcome to Kronos Before the Ashes, which is, I believe, a prequel to Remnant from the Ashes, or at least it's probably connected. Knowing gunfire games, they like to kind of mix their games together because they mean, had a. It is called Before the Ashes. Yeah, so there's that, and they also <laughs> had a VR game that was the like a direct prequel oh, to Remnant from the Ashes that we never we played. We need to play it. We need to play yeah. all our VR games. We really do. Well. With my new schedule, I should have some more time to maybe fit some things in, so, VR especially. Do you think this will at all cover any of those large creatures from I, the other realms? I really do not know. Oh. Uh, let's see. Like, I, I know very little about this game apart from the fact that it's coming out in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. I think it's December 2nd? Yeah. It's around then. And we had played through Remnant of the Ashes. Yeah, we, we call up through that, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we, Except for that last boss battle. Which I think that was just before was, they patched something in. It was bugged in. out. Yeah, it got so much easier the subsequent time through. So what do... So you have different... Hmm. So sword is for dodging. Uh, strike quick and dodge. Or axe for standing ground and blocking. I I mean, I'm always a sword person. But okay. that's just me. I know that you tend to favor axes. I, I think I like axes just because swords are overused. Oh, uh, okay. But... I'm not sure in this game. And so this is a female character. What does the male character look like? Not terrible. Like, he actually looks fairly decent. I originally was going to go female uh, just uh, because her backpack looks better. Yeah, I do like her backpack more. She's a character based on the backpack. But also... Well, but it's that's the thing I'm going to be seeing the most. No, that's true. I mean, also... I like her scarf better. Her scarf? Oh, yeah, it is interesting how it has a different texture. Yeah, just slightly. Also, also the guy is very... It's interesting that they're, they have different patches. Yeah, I was expecting her to wear the same kind of tunic cloak. Hers looks nicer-ish. Kind of. I don't know. Eh. Also, I don't know. She just seems to have the look of a, she looks of a video game heroine. Yeah. He looks equal parts determined... And honestly, he looks really concerned. Like, he's <laughs> watching something terrible happen in the distance, and he really wants to go help. You're right. I think it just might be the eyebrows. Yeah, it's probably the eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty I mean, much. who knows what horrors we're going to encounter. So what do they have difficulty-wise? So they've got casual, adventure, and heroic. I was going to roll adventure. Right. We tend to go with the, the middle... Yeah, and I'm going to try Axe. I've been playing a lot of dodgy builds lately in games, and I want to try Axe again. Oh. Oh. It's in Ooh. first person? Come. Oh, hi. Sit. Listen all. Listen well. Tonight I speak to you the tale. Tale of the Scouring. Long past, world was different. Towers of metal and stone scraped the sky. People roamed free, never hid, never feared. Thousands of us, tens of thousands, not like our tiny tribe. Then came the beasts. So this might be a seed. One of the rusted places hunted us, drove us into the cracks and crevices. Came the beasts on orders, directed by the will of one. The dragon was him scoured our world. Scours it still from where he hides. You're our bravest, young one. Smartest. Best. Once a year, in the darkest of the rusted places, the great stone wakes, opens the way to the other world. When it does, you will go through. You will find the dragon. 
And you will kill it. Get thrown back out for the deed is done. You might. But you will use that ear. Grow stronger. Wiser. Till the stone wakes again. And you keep going back. To your last breath. You keep going back. Till the dragon dies. Or you do. This feels like they made Remnant from the Ashes and were like, no, that's, this isn't quite but right. Isn't this... This straight that, up start... Wasn't that the task of, the, of Remnant this from the, the Ashes? This is the exact same intro as Remnant from the Ashes. Except for we don't have a gun, we've got an axe instead. Like, our outfit is largely somewhat the same. We came in on a rowboat, go kill the dragon from the rusted, rusted place, same crystal. I'm really curious about this now. Well, I mean, it looks like it's still, it still was Earth. It's, I mean, you have all these cords and, and lights. Yeah, I... The rusted places are the cities. Uh, the cities and the, like, bunker facilities. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I'll bite. This is interesting, because I, I loved Revenant from the Ashes, but the plot was stupid. I, it wasn't stupid, it wasn't, it wasn't portrayed particularly well. It was really disjointed and awkward. I think part of it was you... Couldn't you choose to go to different worlds in different orders? Not and... really. You... I think you could have maybe, like, split at one point, but that was it. I think one of the worlds was just bonus. Uh, it was like the swamp world you just never needed to go to, really. Mm -hmm. Um, But even then, like, all the other worlds didn't really tie in particularly well. So, who who knows? Well, I, there was the whole thing of claiming that kind of world soul and either giving it to the Undying King yeah, or the Lady. Yeah, I think that was the only reason why... Oh, right. But you could just straight up tell the dude to, like, die and kill him, which, yep. like, admittedly which, took effort, but still. I think it also got us one of our favorite weapons in the game. Absolutely did. Mm hmm But, like, if you just killed the Undying King... You just never needed to go to Swamp World. Uh-huh. Which I actually thought was kind of neat and dynamic, but it didn't really fit in Remnant from the Ashes. Like, that would have been better as, like, a, a much more, like, linear experience. And then they're like, hey, by the way, here's the dungeon mode where we just random mix everything. Uh, a linear handcrafted experience. And then they're like, here's the dungeon mode where everything's randomly generated and great. Oh, that looks like one of the stones. Yeah, so I think we have to activate it, but I bet it's off. Nope, it's not. Axum Series 980 CPU X8230, oh, 5 megahertz? Yeah, this... this it, Old tech? Yeah, I think the whole disaster happened in, like, the 80s or the 90s. Some Hence why everything's failed. garbage. Error code 88. Current user set to admin. No unauthorized access. Access denied. Emergency lockdown in effect. Well, too bad. Also, why do you keep computers out in the rain? How is it still functional in the rain like that? Yeah. Because in here, yes. Even then. Like, this I... place looks pretty bad. You're not going to investigate a little bit more? Uh, We'll pass by it on the way out, but it you didn't You don't see... know if there'll be a way out. Well, if we have to... Uh-uh. Wait, can you look up at the clocks for a moment? Clocks and different. The clocks are rotated. It's not the times. Well, it's time zones. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like what time it would be in Russia, China. No, no, no. But if you England. looked, if you looked back at it though, can you go back to them? Mm -hmm. I guess the second hand should be. No, see how they're tilted. See how the twelve is tilted to the right and left. Oh, you're right. They're not. So. I don't know if that's just them being lazy or them kind of doing some kind of, like, Kronos thing. 
because that could be intentional or it could just be like they didn't want no Google one's it ever gonna look at these clocks that hard so who cares Ooh, a key card oh but you know i will look at i will look at clocks Like how we don't actually open up our backpack, we just pull it out of our hood. Mm -hmm. oh, Wait. Boot menu. All right. Mainframe access report. Space control log out. Oh boy, here you go. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is all from 1968, January 3rd. Latest group of candidates seem to be acclimating. Wait, acclimatizing? Acclimatizing? Acclimat yeah. I, when do you ever hear that? I usually see acclimating, but acclimatizing? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, well. Acclimatizing, better than the last. Dr. Harsgaard has recommended we keep them in the chairs longer than allotted, than the allotted six hours. He wants to study the long-term effects of exposure on the cerebral cortex. Right, because they did have this doctor that was hooking people up to these and accessing these other worlds. Yeah. Spying on these yeah. large creatures, but sometimes they look back. So far, we have gotten very little usable intel from the Dreamers. I'm still convinced that what they are seeing is no more than some elaborate hallucination, despite Harsgard's claims. File corrupted. All right, so we have April 7th. Construction of the new device is proceeding as planned. Ford and his team were able to solve a few of the remaining issues using intel from one of the Dreamers. I'm prepping a team to use the device. We have fondly been calling it the D-A-T-L-A. DATLA, Dimensional Aperture Translocation Apparatus. We'll report our findings as soon as the team returns. Another file corrupted. June 12th. As of today, Ward 17 is in active operation. A new candidate has been selected and placed in the chair. Harsgard already seems pleased with the readings. He says they are much stronger than any we have seen thus far. All the other Dreamers are in full 24-hour rotations, meaning that this, at this point they never leave the chairs. It was the only way to resolve some of the health issues they were experiencing. Harsgard continues to monitor them. Captain Ford and his team still haven't returned from their trip through the Datla. I am ordering a halt to all further expeditions until we know what went wrong. Now, wasn't Captain Ford related to the Fords that were still running that yeah. one facility in the uh, previous yeah. game? I think he was the one that went off like and just bailed. Was he the one that had vanished that we found? Yeah, I think might so. have been him. I'd read June twelfth, right? Mm-hmm. Automated report. Emergency lockdown initiated. Eh, base control? What's here? Disable the emergency lockdown. Initiate executive order 13. Or return to me. Let's disable the emergency lockdown. Disabling emergency lockdown. Lockdown disabled. What what do you think this Order Thirteen is? Just a do it. a, a self destruct that we accidentally initiating Executive Order Thirteen. Error unable to initiate order. Error code eighty eight. Okay, so good thing. Mainframe access. Error eighty eight. You can't take your key card back. Nope. Single use. Oh. No oh well. Now that the lockdown is taken down, what does that mean for well, the doors? Well, the door over here is open. Mm-hmm. But what what were they keeping out is the question. Me. Uh. They were keeping you me out. Creatures, because that does that looks fishy. You look fishy. Oh, Ward sixteen. But we need a key card to get in. It's the usual. We probably have to find a key somewhere in one of the other worlds that'll get us in here. It looked like there was a, a way you could just walk through back there. Maybe. Is this a meeting room? It looks like there are chairs set up. Yeah, more like a viewing room. Oh. Oh. Yep, there's one of the root creatures. Yep. Kind of? 
Yeah. It has horns. Yeah, it looks like they've got some different designs here. It and looks like it might have some more metal. Skeletal, but no, it is definitely a root creature. It's yeah. It's wearing a cloak of some sort. And yeah, it has a pair of axes. Mm-hmm. So we can't go in there yet, nor do we want to. But what is this? I guarantee we will fight at least one thing before this episode <laughs> ends. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh. Big crystal. Yeah. Restricted right. area. Key card access only. Oh, oh. And it's missing the fuse, too. No. It's fine. I suppose We're you have to go out to the, to the main crystal. crystal. Yeah. Or at least the initial crystal. So, I'm going to say this right now for people watching this. If you want to kind of catch up with the story, I, it actually does seem like it might be worth uh, watching or playing Remnant from the Ashes. I mean, otherwise I can babble what I remember. Eh, let's hit a slow point first. <laughs> I mean, effectively just same intro, go kill the dragon, except for you got a gun in Remnant from the Ashes instead. And potentially buddies. This one's solo from what I know, otherwise I'd be... But Essentially, Harzgard and his viewing other worlds resulted in the thorn yeah, dragon Yeah, I think it was beast. called the, the Root. The Root, yeah. And it brought them to Earth. And yeah, and they apparently just go from realm to world to world just... Eating things. Yeah. Killing their guardians? Because there's like Cause a there's guardian world beast. guardians for every, every planet, yep. apparently. Okay, system diagnostic. Testing uplink failed. Error code 88. Use local pattern buffer. Testing power. Succeeded. Testing Datla. Warning. Code 16. Initialize Datla. Initializing. Warning. Uplink failed. Using local pattern buffer. System reset to user mode. Ooh. Now you have crystal. Where will it take you? I'm betting Wendy's. No, look at that. It looks like a castle. That's cool. So we get to select different worlds. I do well, like the world hopping. Remember, there was the labyrinth, which is why they have the mm. labyrinth symbol swirling around. The one with that guy with the mask. All right, the like in, in between, between area. Yeah, but we had to go through the Guardian to get there. Oh, look. See, it's another statue with the oh, people yeah, with the Oh, yeah, that weird cloth. dude. Yep, the people that wear the cloth over their face. The weird dude that talked to us dropped some mad lore and then disappeared for the rest of the game without actually, like... He was just the Labyrinth Guardian. <sighs> yeah, but, like, it felt like there should have been more to it. Oh, I, I, I think I see some little gremlin creatures. That you do. <laughs> they are little gremlin creatures. They're like blue goblins. Ooh, well, does that have anything now. on it? Yes, it does. Have you heard the wailing at night? I think the Cyclops grieves more for the loss than the king himself. Woe to us when grief turns to rage. The Cyclops? And there's a king? That's one thing I, I really liked about Remnant from the Ashes, that they, they seem to put some thought into the governance of the realms and the characters that dwell there. It's just so unfortunate that it's always empty. Yeah. And you don't really get to meet anyone. But who knows? Maybe we will be able to meet more people. And what I also liked is that you had this mix of, like, depending on the... how far a civilization has progressed with their technology, you could get things like this, which are, you know fairly medieval, or you could get places that are hyper-futuristic, like the realm where the Undying King was from. Granted, he ended up blasting everything into a radioactive wasteland, so there was that. Yeah, but it did save his world from the root. Yeah, except then everyone started uh, getting it's the dragon heart again. radioactive sickness and dying. Ah, yeah, that your uses a method to heal. Oh, they're neat looking. Oh. Locking, is that an archer? 
Do they have a sling? Uh, yeah. Or a javelinier? Oh, no, he's no! got a club. Oh, look at that. He's going to make a cannon bazooka. I should try the parry, but I'm always so so garbage at parrying. Mm-hmm. Like, I try so hard, but it's one of those where What's you really school? have to learn. It doesn't seem like this is really going to uh, incentivize much for exploration. Except for lore tidbits. Yeah, little lore tidbits. Lock on. <sighs> Now I wonder though, are these local inhabitants or are they invaders? Don't know. Because if you've noticed, everything seems fairly low. I don't know if the doorways have also been small. You say that, but like... I know, that's still pretty high for you. Yeah, the only reason why it feels low is because of our camera angle being offset slightly high. Mm-hmm. They just, those creatures don't look like they're... They quite fit with the world? No, 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 no. They, I think they could fit with the world. Uh, I'm saying that they don't seem to be alien enough to be an invading force. Okay, well, I don't see anything else in there. It's too dark to really find. Okay, so we got strength. Uh, let's see. Damage done by armaments, which rely on strength. Uh, more damage you do with... Oh, right. We're probably going to get magic later. Yep. Okay. More powerful effects from dragon stones. And vitality is just health. I have two attribute points. I will not spend them yet. Because there's a very real possibility we'll just go magic. <laughs> it's what I did in, in Demon Souls, and boy howdy, it died. Uh, Really did kind of change how that game worked. Magic's awesome. I maybe too awesome. <laughs> like I don't. You had already gone to bed, but I got to the final boss in uh, Demon Souls and proceeded to uh, just melt him. Well, yeah, because the, the AI wasn't very good, and it looks like so you need to find a way to turn that off. Yeah, the AI wasn't very good, so it straight up like had no idea that I was there. <laughs> I guess it's kind of spoilers for my Demon Soul series. Oh well. Oh well. I mean, let's be honest. If anybody is surprised by the fact that I'm cheesing a game, I, they haven't ever watched me before. Oh, is this a shortcut? Yeah, it's a shortcut to the that locked door we saw earlier. Oh. Yeah. These games often have shortcuts. I don't necessarily know if this one needed them. I'm. Gonna say this has already solved one of the big problems I had with Remnant from the Ashes. Which is? The environments were terrible. Like, they were pretty to look at. Well, they were. that was a shooter, so things were open. Yeah. But well, it's okay, like... maybe I shouldn't say it was a shooter because you could use melee weapons, but it was definitely meant to be a kind of cover yeah. shooter. I'm surprised that they actually... Well, maybe went... not cover shooter, but... Yeah, I'm surprised they actually went with a more traditional Souls-like playstyle in this one. I, I mean... You've seen people who, they make a franchise of games, but then every game is a different type of game. Yeah, But it's it all makes set sense. in the same universe. It gives them an opportunity to explore. I just feel like uh, this runs the risk of not interesting the uh, third-person shooter fans. Mm. Maybe it won't be a big deal, but... Well, then, what were the other... Well, the other one was VR, so, like, heck, if I, I know how that one even plays... Yeah, that one could have just been a, a complete puzzle game, or who knows what. I'd like to I think it. it had combat. Okay, maybe it did have combat. <gasps> Don't you fall off yourself. It will happen. Gravity is the number one cause of death for all experienced Souls-like players. That and hubris. I realize hubris is a little bit more esoteric, but still. <laughs> Excuse me. Why fight them out in the open? When you can wait for them to come to you one by one in the doorway. Yeah, you would think that guy wouldn't have... Oh, I suppose he does use the torch as a melee weapon. I miss... I underestimated him. I wonder if I can backstab. 
Doesn't look like it. I mean, you're wielding an axe. I don't. I don't really think that's what it's meant for. Uh, true. It's just you, there are undeniable sim similarities between this and Dark Souls, and so it. Oh. Oh, there's, ah, there's a little a, lever on the other yep. side. That's cool looking, but there are undeniable similarities. I don't think this is the same realm. I, I like. I don't think this is the. This doesn't look like any of the realms that yeah, we've this, seen before. This ain't the labyrinth. No. They had the statues, but I bet that's this just. This is probably another world connected to the labyrinth. There probably. was something about the world's. Ooh. Box box. This box is adorned with intricate imagery of dragons. A container of this craftsmanship must contain something of value or power. Take this as payment for my debts. I have little use for it. And with the king's latest madness, forfeiting all shards to the crown, that has become more of a liability than a boon. Wait, forfeiting all shards? I know. So, the king of this realm has gone mad. There's a weeping cyclops. And the populace was forced to give up stuff. Maybe the shards. Maybe there are shards inside that box. I think this might be a case where you just have to maneuver behind him and then No, no, no. I, what I'm trying to do is see if I can parry him. Uh... I give up. Yeah, this is just one of those situations where, yeah, trying to. I I just wanted right to see defensive. if I could manage a parry, mm -hmm. and the answer is doesn't seem like it, and doesn't seem like it's worth it. So I just won't. But yeah, the environments in Remnant from the Ashes, like it felt like there was stuff there, but it was very clearly like procedurally generated. They just there was no like rhyme or reason to how things were laid out. It was just kind of slapped around in corridors and hallways. This actually feels like I'm walking around oh. in a world. Yeah, I forgot that Remnant from the Ashes was procedurally generated. It's just that I suppose there was a you version of the game and there was a me version of the game. Yeah. Right? Or I should say yours and mine. Yeah. But it absolutely was procedurally generated and had uh an amount of variety that you quickly kind of ran through. That looks like a little mining area. Yeah, I'll go the other but... way for a second. I hear some, like, pounding noises over here. So, I want to see what was in here. We might have, like, a smith or something. Mm. Oh. Are nope. they an enemy, though? Nope. I know not of your kind, stranger. Dark days these are. Not the best of times to wander so far from one's homeland. What brings an outsider to these forsaken halls? I've come to kill the dragon. Destroy the dragon? Yeah, Tis a line. fool's Sorry. errand. Especially in the wake of the woeful encounter between the king and the cyclops. You may as well throw yourself upon your blade. Who's the Cyclops? Uh, oh, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, you're right. It's me. yours. Also, look at him. Is he just a larger version of those gremlins? It, but why is he... He's greenish, though, and he's got, like, a weird Cyclops hammerhead. Well, no, that might just be his visor to protect himself while he's oh, working that makes with the sense. flames. But yeah. Who is the Cyclops? Our guardian, or so he was, till the king betrayed him. Now the Cyclops just sits and broods and plots revenge. He cares not for the Krell anymore. Hmm, the Krell. What happened? Too long a tale to tell. Suffice to say, the Cyclops wanted to marry the king's fairest daughter. But instead, thanks to the king, the daughter died. Now the king has gone mad. Hides his face from the world. Listen here, pale skin. Those blasphemous priests took my most valuable piece and used it to build a false cyclops. Sheerest idolatry. 
But the vile, cursed golem they created is too powerful for me to challenge. Although, if you were to retrieve the golem's eye for me, I would use it to forge a weapon. A weapon I would give to you freely. Huh, so what, priest stole something from him? Yep. Made a golem of the Cyclops? What, to replace the Cyclops because the Cyclops is despondent because he yeah, lost the princess? Yeah, not working for them anymore. How did the king, what did the king do to his daughter? Did he just order her to get killed because he knew the Cyclops wanted her? Or was, ah, that just seems really counterproductive on all accounts. I mean, I mean, he had. Does it surprise mad. you that much that a king might be stupid? <laughs> Ooh, weird skeletal creature. Oh, I remember these things. These were the uh, these were like the weird forest creatures. Oh, so did they make they they have the same? Yeah, they have the animations. same animation, just different model. I always find it interesting. Uh, Recycling. what developers can can recycle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bug me that much. But I, I think I'm also very forgiving when it comes to, like, Double Eight Studios. I think they got bought out by THQ Nordic, which pretty much solidifies them forever as a Double A studio, but that's okay. Well, wouldn't you put, say, Darksiders and stuff? Yeah. On that kind of tier? Yep. And I, that's why I said I'm kind of forgiving for AA Studios making these games, because there's something earnest about them. Uh-oh. I find that they... Ooh, low health. Yeah, press Y to use your dragon heart. I find that studios in the middling ground between being indie and then having enough expertise and money to have a, a higher budget for their their games that they hit the sweet spot of being innovative and having wow. interesting concepts and stories to tell whereas it seems like as of late a lot of AAA studios are what was the shimmering stone about uh, it's an upgrade material uh you know they upgrade orbs really... from our our D&D campaigns yeah. That's, this is the inspiration. Not this specifically, it was Dark Souls, but still. Mm hmm Anyway. But it seems like a lot of AAA has become pretty... Formulaic? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, formulaic, I don't know if you would necessarily call it syndicated. I don't even know what syndicated means in the t context of television series or whatnot, but... I mean, it's close. That it, it feels like a lot of AAA has found the formula for making a a successful game. Okay, there we go. But not really a, an interesting one or like a memorable one. Well, and sometimes they re rely on brand not yeah. notoriety or not notoriety, but not just brand name recognition, recognition. instead of actually yeah. making something fantastic. Yeah, so uh, I I was I got a copy of both the new Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed Legion, and I need to do videos on them. You mean I, Valhalla? Yeah, sorry. Did I say Legion? But mm -hmm. probably just got wow on the brain. Um, but for both of them, it felt very eh. And like I was asking people, like, hey, should I pick these up? And I got a lot of like, eh. And so I just decided not to, because ultimately, like, a billion other people are going to cover those games. And so, like, Oh, oh hey, this. checkpoint. Is this, is this a torch puzzle? Uh, could be. I think this is a checkpoint. We've got a boss coming up. We can also fast travel between them. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yep. You get to see the space beyond. Yeah, I like that you can but see yeah, between them. But yeah, look at that. That just looks suspicious, how there's a bunch of unlit torches, but there's the one lit one. But you yeah, don't have anything to light yeah, them Yeah, I have no now. way to interact with them. Also, I think boss. Throne room? Yeah. Maybe no boss? Wait, there's a red stone on the left, and there's a blue stone on the right. 
Oh, but look at that in the middle of the tree. Yeah, it's, just it's a sliver glowing. of red. Is it as though the root has planted itself here somehow? Well, yeah. Yep. Ah! Human, attend me. Wait. Long don't... have I lurked here, little warrior, hidden from the dragon's gaze. Yet I know your past, your present, your future. Just as I know the force of the world stone lingering about you. You're gonna say something? I, I was surprised the tree was talking. I'm not. I mean, I suppose we had talked with the tree once before, but... Yeah. Well, we'll go on. You have come to defeat the dragon. An ambitious quest. Given the overwhelming power he possesses. A quest you cannot achieve unaided. <laughs> Burns. Do not resist the tendrils as they live and writhe beneath your skin. I have given you the first dragon stone, the stone of fire, a shard of the dragon's soul stolen and turned against him. Take the stone's power. Draw its strength inside you, and use it in your struggle. And struggle you shall. Three guardians protect the dragon. Three fearsome warriors, all of them able to tear your flesh and grind your bones. The only way to the dragon is through them. When you have destroyed them, when their bodies and souls have been vanquished, only then can you face him. Only then can you look the dragon in the eye and tremble before his vast, awe-inspiring might. Go now. Go with my blessing. And my watchful eye upon you. Ah, the roots. Is that how you cast magic? I guess so. Maybe your first spell is fire related? Ah, it's water. Why are you saying that? Being contrarian. Eh. Dragons. All right. And with that, I think this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. This game is neat. It's It takes a lot of elements from Dark Souls, but it brings in a little bit more of that kind of... Well, I guess I'd almost call it like early... Early-ish Dark Souls? Eh, it wasn't even Dark Souls. The adventure game mechanics where you find, you know, there's locked doors all over the place. You have to find the key. By finding the key, it opens up a bunch of new paths, kind of rinse, repeat, and you're constantly looking for the next solution to your puzzle uh, and the whole the whole environment kind of is the puzzle and how to navigate it i like the idea of this it's really cool seeing people take like different takes on dark souls the combat i think is going to be the weakest part for me just purely because it's a little clunkier and maybe part of this is i'm just i'm literally playing demon souls uh, simultaneously with this game and the differences are are definitely kind of blatant uh but Looking past that, there's some really neat merits here. I love the environment. I love the fact that it's not procedurally generated. It being all hand-designed actually looks really nice, and I feel like I'm exploring again, as opposed to just following one long, kind of broken-up hallway that goes from place to place. And it seems like they've got some neat little features here and there, uh, some of which you guys haven't even seen yet. We played for, like, three hours. But there's a trait system that you get based on number of deaths and your character ages up every single time you do, which is actually, it's really neat. 
I'm a little worried about what that could mean if you, like, die too many times. Like, does your character just pass away after a while? What happens when you're 100? Do you just keep going as this decrepit wizard? I, I don't know. And we might get to that point, or maybe I'll be good enough at this game that our character manages to complete their quest at a reasonable age and gets to retire early. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> that said... Knowing that this is probably a prequel, I don't think it actually goes very well for us over the course of this game, but is what it is. So, I guess with all that said, Chronos Before the Ashes will be out tomorrow, uh, December 1st. And at the very least, I know it's going to be out on PC. I'm playing it on Steam right now. This guy's kicking my ass. Uh, it's fine, but it, it'll be out on Steam. And I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't end up on consoles if it's not already there. Uh, unfortunately, I only know a little bit about this. Because, straight up, I didn't know anything about it until, like, a week ago. Uh, but honestly, if you liked Remnant from the Ashes, uh, Grain of Salt, this game plays completely differently, but it fits kind of the same world and aesthetic, uh, so it might be worth a look-see. Or if you're just looking for more different flavors of action RPG and you kind of like the slow, more methodical and weighty feel that the Dark Souls games provide, then this is probably worth looking at. I am... <laughs> trying to figure out how to heal at this point. It's funny watching myself in retrospect when I do these outros. Because, uh, yeah, you don't heal anymore by touching the stone. You have to heal by dying or by killing enough enemies, which is weird. Like I said, it's got some weird ideas that I'd love to see them expand on for a possible sequel eventually. Or somebody else just take this idea and run with it. Uh, but anywho, I am digressing pretty hard. So, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Leave me a like, leave us a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because we're going to do a full run of this. It's, it's weird, and it's weird enough to keep my interest long enough to want to see it through to the end. Uh, so for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.